What's up YouTube? Today I'll be adding hydraulic fluid to my 3 ton floor jack and I'm going to also show you how to bleed the air out the system. Over time, you may notice the performance of your jack start to decrease. While in use, it'll slowly begin to lower itself and this is due to the air that has entered the hydraulic chamber over time that needs to be purged. I bought this jack from Harbor Freight a while ago and the first thing you're supposed to do with the new jack before using it is check the fluid level. Add some if necessary, then bleed it. However, I did none of these things, and as a result, it won't stay up. Now the first thing we gotta do is remove this kick plate. There are four screws holding it in place, and you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver to remove them. Then with a little wiggling, this kick plate just slides out. Once that's removed, we have access to our fill plug, which is right here. Now I'm gonna spray some brake clean on the rag and wipe around the area so no dirt falls in once I remove the fill plug. Then carefully pry the rubber plug out. I'm using a flathead screwdriver. Then add your hydraulic fluid. You don't want to overdo it. Having a miniature funnel would definitely come in handy for this part, but clearly I don't have one. All right, so now I'm gonna put the rubber fill plug back in. Now we're gonna turn the handle counterclockwise to open the lowering valve, then pump the handle seven times to push air throughout the system. Now I'm going to close the lowering valve by tightening up the handle, turning it clockwise, then raise the jack as high as it will go and pump the handle around seven more times. Then we're going to lower the jack to its full rest position, then peel the fill plug back just enough to allow the air to escape, then quickly press the plug back into its place. Now you want to tighten the handle by turning clockwise to close the lowering valve and give it a few pumps to make sure the jack raises evenly. Then test the jack under low. I'm going to jack up my Jeep and see if the jack still has trouble supporting its weight. The jack is holding up the Jeep just fine. Now you may find yourself having to repeat this process if you don't get the desired results. And don't forget to put your kick panel back in and screw that down. And that's how you add hydraulic fluid and purge the air from your jack. I'm showing the process to you all that was shown to me. So if your jack seems weak, then these steps may be your answer. I also want to reiterate the fact that jacks are only meant to lift the vehicle, not support its weight. That's what jack stands are for. Make sure you get a quality set of jack stands. Until next time, y'all stay tuned.